Mount Holyoke. In the house. I am so delighted to be back here and to be part of this celebration with you, 2013. Parents, my mom, who's somewhere out here, faculty, staff, trustees, and of course, my pals that may be here from the class of 1983. Yellow. This, my friends, is where everything starts and ends for me. I came here in the fall of 1979 armed with blue eyeshadow and a curling iron. <laughs> and nothing else. It was Mount Holyoke that taught me to have a voice and to use it loudly. <laughs> it was at Mount Holyoke where I was allowed to fail and fail miserably. Oh yeah. <laughs> to push the boundaries of what might be possible, to never give up, and to discover that failure is not an end, but a beginning. It was at Mount Holyoke where I learned that life is short. You have to live hard, love hard, and make every day count. <laughs> Mount Holyoke also encouraged me to be a better person, to be part of something bigger, a team, a community, with people who looked out for each other, people who became your, your champions and your guardian angels. For me, those people include Tom Adams, Mount Holyoke's rowing coach who did not, and I repeat, did not cut me from the team when I came in last, and I mean D-F-L last. <laughs> the younger people know what that means. <laughs> On the mile around Upper Lake during tryouts my freshman year. Or Vinnie Ferraro, professor of international... <laughs> professor of international politics who pushed us to think beyond ourselves, beyond our capabilities about how to tackle the urgent problems of the world. Or Pat Waters, the head of financial aid and her entire team, who made it possible for me to attend Mount Holyoke when my mother had less than $1,000 to her name and I had little idea how close I was to never seeing the inside of a college. So you see, I am forever indebted to Mount Holyoke and to Mary Lyon herself and to all of you who make up this incredible community, who ignite the ability to dream big and work hard, who inspire us to refuse to take no for an answer, to have the courage to fail, but insist that we pick ourselves up and try again, so that when we leave the gates of Mount Holyoke, we are ready to see the world, understand it, and take it on. Because that, my friends, is what Mount Holyoke College is all about. What, what? <laughs> Thank you so much.